Hi everyone, welcome back. So today we are on a mission to put in a couple of accumulators joined together from Stuart Turner on this re, uh, renovation project over near Red Hill. We've got a trusty colleague here, Josh Stretton. We've got Josh Rolfe who's standing behind, a bit camera shy. And our apprentice is the cameraman today. So come yeah, through here. Yourself, yourself, oh, let's get you <laughs> Say hello to Adam. All right. Right, so we've got a couple of these 250 litre uh, main boosts from Stuart Turner, been donated to us for this particular project. And we're actually doing this for uh, TV celebrity, Laura Hamilton. And um, what we're here to do, and we've already run our 28 mil pipes up from downstairs from the cold water main up to the loft, and then it will return back. The purpose of these accumulators really is to deal with the low flow rates of the system at the moment. So we've got, uh, I think it's a 20 mil cold water main fee coming into the property. So the flow rates are gonna be, um, basically, they're just not gonna be quite right for what we need. It's quite a big, large property. We've got multiple bathrooms to serve. So we're gonna be putting these up in the loft, get these attached, and we'll see how things progress for the rest of the day. Oh, like that. Oh, mate. Have you got a wake up in your van? Yeah. Do you want one? Yes, please, mate. I need to check the old uh, flow rate quickly. I just want to quickly check it. Yeah. Okay, so we are, as I said before, we've got a 20 mil supply coming into the house. And actually the flow rates and the pressure behind it isn't too bad but it's really about you know, when you're using multiple outlets is where the problem's gonna lie because you're gonna end up maybe turning the tap on in one bathroom um, or having a shower in a bathroom, then you come downstairs to use the kitchen or the washing machine comes on and then you start to see a big diminish in, the, um, in what we've got coming in uh, into that shower and then you start getting frustrated. I've mentioned this so many times, flow rate is important, which is why we've gone for the accumulators here or the, main, the, the Stuart Turner main boost. So just to show you on here, um, if you want to come and have a look at this a little bit closer. So our incoming bar of pressure is actually really high. I mean, we're talking six and a half bar of pressure. And I'll take that off and then we'll do a quick flow test. And we'll check out our flow rate. You'll see it coming out across there. So it'll tell us our litres per minute. Let's get it switched on. And again, our litres per minute are quite high here, so we're about 20 litres per minute. And you might think, was well, it necessary to put these main boosts in? But it is, because we can see we can see the size of the pipework coming in. So what the main boost will do is basically it has like a, a pressurised uh, vessel, a little bit like um, uh, an expansion vessel, and it will build up, build up, build up, and it will fill up with pressured water. And then as you start to open up taps in other areas, we've got 500 litres to back us up. Once you start opening up those other outlets, the pressure then starts to come out of the main boost and, and, and you'll get an equal pressure. So no matter how many taps and points that you end up opening up in the rest of the house, you'll still maintain that pressure coming through. We've got pressure reducing valves, everything else that are going on. Obviously at six and a half bar um, of pressure shown on this, very, very high. We don't want it that high. So our pressure reducing valve will limit that down to just below three bar. Um, and we're just going to keep cracking on. We'll get these accumulators on, then we'll test and we'll see um, if it, what sort of difference it could make on the system and what we'll expect it to do when it starts to perform when this house is lived in.
Okay, so we've installed this cold mains booster system to this property. Now, this is called the Stuart Turner mains boost. Two vessels working side by side, 250 litres um, per vessel. Now, the great thing about these is we've got good pressure behind them in the water system. So that means that there's no mechanical uh, elements to it, nothing electrical, no pumps, no booster pumps or anything else associated with it. These will simply, they've got a membrane down the bottom here. They start to fill the reservoir with water. Um, this diaphragm starts to stretch, 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 stretch. So it has you know, a good amount of um, pressure behind it. So once these are up to a certain point, when you start opening outlets to showers, baths, um, kitchen tap, whatever, this will start to push that down so that when you start opening multiple outlets, you start, you know, you, nothing's diminished in the, in the flow rates and the pressure behind it, which is perfect, exactly what we want. The other good thing about these ones, which I really liked, was the fact that they were made from a composite. They're not the steel um, accumulators that, that we fitted in the past, for instance. And they will be required in certain situations, absolutely. But it means these are lightweight. You know, we've had to bring these up into the loft. They weigh just over 20 kilos each. So very, very easy to get up into this system. The guys at Stuart Turner came to site, you know, they measured and looked at the incoming main, size of the water main, what the pressure was, what the flow rates were, how many outlets were being used, the size of the shower heads, how many liters per minute would be estimated to be used for those showers, etc. So everything's calculated and made sure that we've got the right components for the job. And they'll do that for every customer. Um, we've put a link in actually uh, into the um, below and in the description so that you know if you've got any questions or you're thinking about what could be implemented in your property go onto their website and get in contact with the guys over there very simple to install as well you know well in our eyes it was anyway I'll show you the components that we've put together just to give you an idea of what to expect so quite simply we've got a cold water main coming up we've done this in 28 mil move this across here over to this valve which is basically your pressure reducing valve it's got a check valve in it two gauges so that we can see what the water pressures are like coming into it this is reducing that pressure so we can amend that to, to suit uh, we come across here up past this lever valve got a drain off here straight into that vessel that starts to fill up next one across here to the next one two working side by side Obviously we put isolators on just for any maintenance purposes if anything needs to be done later on. Drain off, of course, you know, if we never need to drain these down, make sure you've got these at the lowest point. Beware though, make sure you've got a good fixing on this drain off because the, you know, there'll be a lot of pressure behind that and they will just self push out that water and completely empty themselves because they've got this diaphragm inside. But it will be pretty, pretty high what, what comes out of there um, on the flow rate side. So make sure it's really secure. Um, and make sure you don't over undo this valve as well because it will just ping out. So as that goes across, and obviously, you know, you shut these two off and you've still got a way that bypasses through the system, goes back downstairs in 28 mil. That will go to the combi valve for the, um, the hot water cylinder, off to the balance cold, off to the hot water circuit, and hey presto, it's done. So you, obviously, you know, you need to make sure that you get a decent feed coming from downstairs to up and equally going back down as well. So don't tee off anything until you get to that hot water cylinder, essentially. Just to show you down here, this is a cold water main coming in, 20 mil feed coming through. Um, so we're gonna end up putting that to 28 mil to join on to the pipe work that we've already put in. Just here is where the hot water cylinder is gonna end up sitting. Got flow returns here going to the under, underfloor heating circuit. Our heat pump flow return that we put in a little while back and obviously our hot, cold and feeds and everything that goes back to the rest of the house. Um, we've had to think about getting this, these primaries in. We did put these in a few weeks ago, so excuse the mess. This is down to obviously what's going on on site all of the time. Primaries go to the outside and our heat pump will end up sitting just over there where you can see that pipe wet hanging out the wall. So there needs to be a plinth and everything done in order for us to be able to get that implemented. But we're gonna be ready for second stage. It's all gonna be down to what the builders are doing and how far they get. And, uh, and then we can crack on and show you what we're gonna be doing on the renewable heating side. 
So there we have it folks, lovely, another beautiful afternoon here in September. So we're done here for the time being, we can't crack on until the next phase really, once the, uh, once the rest of the team have done whatever they need to do internally. As mentioned, thank you to Stuart Turner for providing the equipment and having us install it for them. Um, this is also uh, officially from Laura Ham Hamilton TV. You can actually see this whole renovation and the project from scratch. Uh, if you follow her, you can follow her on Instagram and um, look for any YouTube footage as well with regards to this. So um, it's an exciting project. We're very proud to be involved with it. Um, please comment, like, share um, below uh, if you've got any questions. If there's anything you want to find out, more information about you know pressure vessels and everything else that could increase or help with your next project, whether it be a self build or a renovation project, there's a link below. You can just tap in and speak to the guys over at Stuart Turner. We'll leave a comment below and we can we can try and help where we can. Subscribe to the channel, click that bell notification, and you can see all the upcoming videos that we've got with some very exciting projects on the way. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.